she actually wants to pillow fight with Aiden Jones, which is just like the most wholesome thing ever. I feel like that would totally be Kennedy too. She would just be like so nice and innocent. She hasn't even had her first kiss yet. So let alone like woohooing with anyone. So this guy at this bar might be, I mean, he might be your first hookup depending on how the progression of the relationship goes. I don't know. Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Leprosy Challenge. Here in Riverview right now, it is currently a lovely fall night and I just love this downtown area. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, and any season, I just think it's really well made. And look at this. One thing I love about, about The Sims 3 is like when you go to a public lot, you can expect a lot of people to be on that lot. And, you know, we have this this area really does seem like it's like a downtown bustling sort of area because of all the Sims that are currently here. And that's one of my favorite things about The Sims 3 that I have yet to see be replicated in like any other game is for the world to feel as alive. Sorry, I got a little tangent here. I don't know who this guy is, John Lesson, but he is currently talking to our Kennedy. So we're just going to have her uh, go and entertain him. Anyway, she just got out of work and she had a wish to go to a day dance club our little kennedy is aging up and she's wanting to go out and go clubbing so i am going to obey her wish and i am going to send her over here no over here <laughs> to where all the clubs are um the only dance club that i have in my world is called the fire station the other two are lounges and then we have two dive bars so there isn't anything else but uh but those two lots that we can go to as far as like a dance club goes so we're gonna go over there right now maximus just left work he made 668 simoleons that's quite a that's quite a sizable amount of money uh he does want to go and hang out with his son lee by the way because nico is aging up soon nico by the way is our little alien boy here he's gonna be aging up to a child relatively soon so i kind of wanted to get a room in order also in the last episode ivy got knocked up again she's pregnant with another baby she doesn't know it yet but yet she's pregnant you know she hasn't had her motion sickness or anything like that yet or nausea i mean we're waiting on that currently we're currently waiting on that to happen anyway i kind of made this room i mean i don't i don't want to spend too much money on it and also this is a super small room but nico will be living here or staying in here i guess when he ages up to a child and then that will make room for the next baby that ivy currently has in her right now so that is how that is gonna work meadow just woke up from a nap she's gonna go and check out her brother's new drawing table i guess since we have that drawing table over there we can probably this one that i have in the living room because it's kind of just been sitting there for quite a while and it doesn't look that cute wait why is the baby on the ground poor ollie someone threw ollie down why is he thrown on the ground oh my god put your put your brother in his crib why 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 is he there also oh my god that music is so loud also in the last episode tamika broke here gave lee a call and asked him if he wanted to go to prom which is super exciting i think why he is not in that crib is because this object is actually glitched up right now so i'm gonna reset that here really quickly and then that should fix it yeah i don't know why but it was like glitched up so i don't know where ollie went to oh he's downstairs right now what is max doing max is going to go and check out this new car but he's like damn we got a whole new room while i was while i was at work damn ivy you hired some nice uh, interior designer by the name of maddie good job <laughs> and i'm like thanks maximus you're you're a cool dude i like you a lot anyway um one of you said because lee is going to prom with tamika if you guys don't know in the last episode we we asked tamika what her gender preference is and tamika said she's gay so that there's they're just going as friends they're going strictly platonically but um when lee was a child he met a girl named sunshine he threw a sleepover party and him and sunshine out of all the people that were at that party him and sunshine really really hit it off so uh, a lot of you in, in the comments section of the last episode were saying that you really want lee to continue to you know get closer and closer to sunshine maybe they can have like a romantic relationship i'm not sure where she is here like i can't find her and i'm also not sure if she's is still a child if she's still a child then obviously that is going to be a big no-no we have to wait till she ages up but i can't find her for some reason i don't know where sunshine went to but yeah i'm not seeing any sunshine in here why how is that possible how did she just get randomly deleted that is so strange to me well i guess maybe you know maybe she moved out of town or something like that that is actually so disappointing that um she got deleted in the course of all of that because they really did hit it off i i literally can 
cannot find her in my game. Although I'm like kind of disappointed. I'm kind of upset and angry. I'm going to sort by age just to make sure that I in fact did not overlook her. So first I'm going to sort it by children. I do not see any sunshine in here. Okay. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to sort it by teenagers and maybe she aged up to teen and maybe I'm just once again overlooking her. I really hope that that's the case. In Enros, you can actually limit the amount of Sims. And once you do that, it's supposed, I don't think it's supposed to delete people. Sorry. It's actually under Enros story progression general and then you go down to sims and then max residents right here you can change how many so there's 150 humans in this town now i think that's default anyway it could have also been something to do with my save cleaner i'm not exactly sure but his best friend chris lynn also just aged up so i don't know maybe he'll find another girl i'm really disappointed though because i really did want sunshine and him to be a couple they really hit it off when they were children and i'm so sad that it's somehow some way she got deleted I added these um so outside i added a scarecrow this comes with uh the sims 3 seasons i'm gonna have maximus go outside and view it i don't think that these do anything though i could be wrong obviously in sims 4 you have patchy the the scarecrow that um spawns you know when you when you buy this little scarecrow item and you can like talk to him and interact with him but i think in the sims 3 i think it's just the decor item so we have that we have this giant pumpkin obviously the mcdermott family is very festive they are very ready for fall and we also have this giant basket of of uh what are these called leaves leaves yes i can't believe i cannot think of that word He's just sitting out here viewing it. I'm gonna have him go inside and go and eat some leftovers for dinner. Um, let's go over to Kennedy though, because she is currently at the bar and she's actually talking with a man here at the bar. Hello, who are you? Aiden Jones. Hi. I like how we send Kennedy to the bar and you know, I don't I don't I didn't think exactly for like love or anything like that. I think she's kind of just talking to this guy, but damn, he's a really good. Wait a second, wait a second. He's really cute. Okay, get out of those ugly clothes please can please get in your nice clothes oh my god he's literally getting hitting oh 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 okay um <laughs> that timing oh my god hannah saw that uh kennedy was talking to her man and she had to go over and try and woohoo with him because uh yeah they're about to go and woohoo right now and i'm pretty sure that's a autonomous try for baby so i guess we'll see i'm actually gonna follow them right now and we will see if it is actually try for baby because we will be able to hear the little pregnancy noise if she does in fact end up getting pregnant i just think that's so funny that kennedy started talking to him and then she saw from across the room <laughs> kennedy and she's like uh, i guess gotta claim my man oh he was literally just thinking about us too he was literally just thinking about us aiden is so sus like he is so sus he definitely wants a piece of that alien booty he wants kennedy he wants kennedy all right we're gonna see if um she ends up getting pregnant here i'm gonna not be very surprised because i'm pretty sure it's an autonomous try for baby so is she pregnant i don't even know who this is but i'm just kind of like i'm kind of you know going for the drama right now it doesn't sound like she got uh, pregnant though so congrats good job girl you didn't get pregnant from your woohoo on the public lot kind of weird anyway who else is here oh there's someone dancing on the table we have mike wilson are you cute mike come over here he's really breaking it down look at him getting it look at him getting it oh yes i don't know how he's dancing to classic music i have no idea i think one of you told me if i go to uh, if i go buy on this lot and then i control click i think i can uh change it yeah i can change it to pop let's change it to pop that seems a little bit more fitting so if you guys don't know with testing cheats enable true on if you shift click on a lot you can go buy on the slot and then if you control shift click on the um, stereo here you can actually change the station so i had no idea that, that was a thing when he told me and i've been trying it for literally so many generations i think since late night i've been trying to do that and i couldn't figure it out but anyway i'm gonna have these two come over here and we're gonna chat we're gonna have her you know meet some people oh this guy's childish i definitely feel like kennedy would not like a childish guy like that would not be her thing oh she actually got a uh, free meal because she is a celebrity what level of celebrity is she oh she wants to she wants to have a drink she wants to get lit she definitely wants to get wasted and we can order a drink here it's called the melted snowman i'm pretty sure that that is from um sensory seasons oh this one's called alien brain we should have her get alien brain definitely gonna have her get alien brain of course my 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 alien girl has to get the alien brain so apparently marissa tipton and maximus are no longer friends very unfortunate kennedy learned that 
Mike is childish. And we have just a couple of story progression notifications up there in the corner. Who else is here that's really interesting? Constance Shelley is a really pretty woman here. She's shaking it. And she's one of the pre-made townies that comes here in Riverview. And I don't know what exactly what her story is, but she is very pretty. And every time I see her out, I'm kind of like, ooh. Oh, oh, who is this? Carrie Shelley. Oh, is Constance married to Carrie? I'm pretty sure Carrie is good looking. Why are all my males? I'm so good looking. Look at him. He's actually cute. Or maybe they're like, I hope it's not like son mother sort of relationship and they're literally at a dance bar together. That would be weird as hell. Is there anyone else here or am I just going to be alone? We have Aiden Jones up here, but I mean, he's he seems a little bit dedicated to his wife, though. I mean, I guess we could have her just become friends with him and see if they hit it off at all. So we'll have her go upstairs. We'll have her talk a little bit to Aiden. I mean, he was like the first one that kind of approached her at the bar. So we'll we'll give it a whirl. We'll see what he's up to. Maybe he uh, wants to cheat on his wife. Hey, if he cheats on his wife, I mean, maybe Kennedy can, can feign ignorance. Be like, hey, I didn't know that you were married, even though she totally saw. Oh my God, that is so loud. Holy shit, music. Even though Kennedy totally saw Aiden's wife you like start macking on him but we'll see here we'll see she's got a little drink she's got a little alien brain drink it is really high quality so who is this who is this over here hello um who is going in this Corey Lobos is over here twirling in this machine thingy and of course as we know he is married to Hannah I mean I could have told you that uh from the second I saw her macking on him a couple couple of minutes ago but Ivy improved her logic skill to level seven I think she's still at work right now or is she not why is she just sitting outside it is literally 1 a.m right now and she's just chilling outside minding her own damn business that is very strange okay she just learned that Aiden works in the science career so I'm gonna have them continue to talk it's a Wednesday say night but honestly kennedy doesn't work until 4 p.m so we have a we have a lot of time until you know that she can stay out and won't it won't fuck up her sleep schedule stop chatting to whoever that is i don't want you to chat go and talk to aiden who is 39 days older than her so he has quite many days on her damn i didn't think he was that old i mean like i said he's not gonna be like uh you know a long-term thing he would be like a quick hookup if i had to if i had to think of it oh and Corey over here she fell out i don't know why she's wearing those long ass gloves that is very strange oh she's pissed she is so pressed because she fell out of that machine she's like grumbling under her breath she's so mad i'm sorry Corey. wait who's someone else is up here woohooing who is it now what how is there so many sims on this lot that are just constantly woohooing i'm so confused oh who was it it's travis it's travis mcdermott with who oh oh Susie okay so if you guys don't know Travis is Maximus's younger brother um which would be Kennedy's uncle so yeah on this lot Kennedy's uncle is just getting it on with his wife that's that's great I mean hey at least it's not like cheating right it's not cheating she actually wants to pillow fight with Aiden Jones which is just like the most wholesome thing ever I feel like that would totally be Kennedy too she would just be like so nice and innocent she hasn't even had her first kiss yet so let alone like woohooing with anyone so this guy at this bar might be I mean he might be her first hookup depending on how the progression of the relationship goes I don't know she's gonna listen to talk about the cosmos you know she is an alien after all she's gotta listen to his cosmo talk she knows all about it Kennedy does not find Aiden Jones at all attractive what is his uh what is his sexuality we're gonna ask him his sexuality i mean he is married to a woman so i think story progression is automatically gonna have him be straight if he's married to a woman or at least bisexual um he's straight i don't i think kennedy's bisexual at this current moment so i mean i was gonna have her do like a whole bisexual storyline you know experimentation as college students normally do when they get into college that was gonna be it was gonna be her thing but uh right now you know because she is bisexual we can have her kind of flirt with him i don't know he's just like a really good looking guy so i'm not opposed to her wooing with him he's really cute i, I mean if if it comes to that i don't know if she exactly wants any romance with him or if she just wants a friendship i honestly cannot tell she has not had any other wishes relating to him what is this loud music up here is it this thing what is that is that it's so loud damn okay so it is currently 3 a.m i believe this bar is about to close unless it closes at 4 a.m let's see oh yeah it's open till 4 a.m so i'm pretty sure the sims start getting booted from the lot at three though so we'll see if he sticks around here um we'll give him a little friendly hug let's see what other deeper conversations prompts i have well designed decor stands out in a good way and tends to make everyone happier what do you say i feel so much better i don't know about that but uh whatever i'm kind of really wanting her to get you know a romantic wish with aiden right now like i just feel like that that would be oh my god she can ask him to break up with hannah what is that no go express your fondness to him or something don't ask him to break up with his wife what the hell kennedy she's like already trying to be a home wrecker all right come and express your fondness to him i just i just really maybe maybe dance with him a little bit i don't know we can dance with him a little bit until it's time to leave 
He just said playing pretend is so fun. He is such a weirdo. Like he's a little kid or something. What the fuck is that? Go and dance with him. Go, go Kennedy, go dance with him. <laughs> this is so sus. I feel like, like this is honestly so sus that he has a whole ass wife and, and he's just giving in to Kennedy. I mean, he works in a science career, so I feel like he is pretty well off. Probably I'm pretty sure he's leaving right now because the Sims usually get booted out of the lots at 3 a.m. And uh, it's way past 3 a.m. So I'm gonna have Kennedy head on home here. Pretty sure all of her siblings are back at home. They are sleeping. It looks like Meadow actually wanted to sleep in the treehouse tonight because I don't know why. Maybe her room is a little bit cramped. I mean, she has a really, really small room, to be honest, so I don't really blame her. Um, How is Ivy's hygiene so low, can I ask? And why is Maximus working out at 4 a.m.? Maybe he's, like, worried sick why Kennedy isn't home yet, and he's, like, down here working out. Well, Maximus, get this. She's an adult now, so she can basically go out whenever she wants, however late she wants. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? I guess he could kick her out or something. <gasps> and Kennedy wants to move into a high-rise building. Girl, no, you gotta wait. We're sending you out to university next generation. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna have her live with her parents to be honest and i don't know just write her books and that sort of thing live her best young adult life that's honestly that's honestly what i want her to do is live her best young adult life and be happy and all that sort of thing i'm gonna have all of the parents for some reason my sims are really bad at like feeding themselves so i'm gonna have everyone that's hungry um they can just come downstairs and eat a little bit i.e ivy and maximus and then when kennedy comes upstairs i'm gonna have her come and take a shower because her mom is hogging hogging the shower right now actually ivy needs to take care of her child and then we will have kennedy go and uh go go have her turn in the shower go go write your book in the meantime we don't need a shower right now we can have you shower a little bit later but yeah i'd be nice to take care of her child because that is that is her baby that is her baby she no one else wants to take care of your child girl maximus is trying to shower right now i guess he can be the next one in line because he has work in the morning so it does make sense why he's trying to go in right now um ivy's gonna get some food oh lee just woke up for school it's literally five in the morning all right well he's a very early riser isn't he yes very early riser he's gonna go grab some apple pancakes because that's going to be his little breakfast moment. Meanwhile, Ivy hasn't even gotten any sleep yet because she's been having to take care of her children all night and working and all that sort of stuff. I mean, she doesn't work until 4 p.m. So we have we have a, quite a while for her. She can sleep all day if she really wanted to. I mean, oh, granted, she does have to take care of her children at some point. But look at this, Ivy and Lee. I feel like I never see these two interact or anything like that. When I think of Lee, I always think of Maximus. Maybe it's because they look like identical to each other because of red hair and like the facial structure. But I always forget that Ivy's son is Lee after all. And and it's not like, you know, Lee is not one, her biological child. Like she had Lee. So um, I'm going to have them just do a little bit of deeper conversation stuff to get their, you know, to get the relationship a little bit. Like I said, they never interact. So, I mean, the relationship is not down by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not as high up as I, as it could be. So, um, oh, she's trying to talk. He's trying to talk to me. Tell me a funny story. All right, Lee, you're so sweet, but your mom, she has to go to bed. She just worked a really long shift at the uh, music place. So I'd appreciate if you would stop and let me not have you listened to your stupid story i think it's deeper conversations for sure it does this sometimes oh also i don't think i ever showed you guys this but lee does have braces i don't know if i i don't think i ever showed you guys this but yeah he has little braces in his mouth which i think are so cute so you can see them when he talks he's got his little tooth cap <laughs> oh he's so cute this is like a really bad angle hi lee he's like way in my face right now it's kind of funny reminds me of like the first person mode in the sims 4 which i never use that i kind of forget it exists sometimes but it's out there and it reminds Reminded me of that to be honest when meadow gets up um i'm gonna have her go and eat some apple pancakes these guys all got school today she actually needs to become friends of salvatore dean i don't know who that is who is salvatore dean can i ask oh alvin newbie do you see alvin newbie down here he looks he looks kind of cute i mean his name is alvin alvin and the chipmunks um but you know he's cute and also david shallow has to be like one of the best looking sims in this entire town i am just so sad about sunshine like where did sunshine go I think I could probably remake her or something like that, like make her a child. Cause we, to be honest, we didn't know much about Sunshine. Um, so I would like to remake her for Lee and I'm gonna go back after I record this video, I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back in the video and I'm going to remake her and get the relationship back up to where it was. I forget what episode it is. I can leave a card in the top right if I do remember and I will like have you guys go to that episode. Uh, but I even put her in one of my thumbnails. I have no idea where she went to. I literally have no idea. <laughs> I can't tell you. I, I I have a hunch that she got deleted or something like that. Maybe um, overpopulation or overcrowding. I, I have no idea, but yeah, she's just, she's just gone. Anyway, I'm currently having 
meadow uh put herself to use she's cleaning so many plates right now that is so many they have like flies all around them and stuff like that so nasty but look we have a nice clean kitchen now so it was all worth it i'm gonna have her go and watch a little bit of television before she heads off to school she is so cute with her little blonde hair and rosy cheeks she is so cute meadow lee is also almost ready he's gonna be in a really good mood i'm gonna have him listen to a let's have a listen to angler tap cast because he is an angler that's one of his traits um so he is like really outdoorsy he likes that kind of fishing sort of stuff so i'm gonna have him listen to that and those two will head off to school very shortly he does want to learn a cooking skill i think his angler skill is actually already pretty high yeah he's already got level five in fishing because when he was a child i was having him raise it um just like that oh and i forgot to have him feed his fish today <gasps> none of them are dead right okay i was gonna be scared that some of them are dead i'm gonna have kennedy go and feed them i don't like when the fish die it makes me feel bad like i'm a bad pet parent i don't want to feel like a bad pet parent kennedy's gonna take a little bubble bath you know she had kind of a crazy night she she met up with that with that guy oh what's his name aiden i don't even know where they live watch them live in like the biggest house in this entire town oh he does look at this house he lives in oh my god holy shit he he does have a really really big house look at this this is like a mansion holy shit aiden wow okay i said it kind of sarcastically but it's real like he really does live in a ginormous house i am kind of really jealous who is this colby jones i don't know maybe that's his kid or something like that i'm pretty sure eden was really close to aging up to an elder um and kennedy does not seem to be at all interested in him like she even said it that she gives him like a one out of ten in attractiveness so uh she she does not want anything to do with him i understand that but you know I, i'm just keeping her options open she is gonna kind of she she's gonna be experimental she's gonna just you know follow her heart doesn't matter their sex she's just gonna you know go after what she wants whoever she wants and i don't think she wants aiden jones so we will not have her pursue him i also don't know why she has this generation's hair on it's very ugly and not suited for her age but okay if she wants it then she can have it at school today i am going to have our lovely meadow interact with some of the kids i'm still trying to see who salvatore dean is who is salvatore dean it has to be somewhere here on her little list but i'm not sure who it is oh i just had another idea wait i just had a, a a brain a brain breakthrough an epiphany if you will i think sunshine could have been the paper girl i think that's who that is guys i think sunshine was the paper girl yeah i'm almost certain of it okay i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can drag sunshine i think i can sort by service sims i'm so glad i thought of this i'm so glad i thought of this because i'm pretty sure she is a service sim is this has what is has type of service has what the fuck is that i also don't remember her last name so that could also be a problem we have connie apparently connie is our current paper girl but i want sunshine back i want sunshine i wonder if there's a way i can get her you know what i could do i have a thumbnail save that i have and i'm pretty sure sunshine is in that thumbnail save so i think i can in fact grab her genetics so i don't have to like remake a whole new sim for sunshine though i don't remember she was a child so i couldn't really tell what her facial features looked like i'm just kind of pressed because even i like you know i try not to have like i don't try to meddle a lot i like my sims to kind of like follow their hearts and do what they want to do in my game rather than me having a heavy hand in the progression of their life like i love when my sims choose for me what they want to do in their life like for example for kennedy i'm not gonna have her pursue that eating guy because she finds him a one out of ten so why the hell would i have her pursue him she's not at all attracted to him so long story short if she doesn't want to do it i'm not gonna have her do it but lee i feel like lee was really destined to be with sunshine like i think that they were such a cute couple not a cute couple but you know what i mean like they they hit it off really well okay they were children when they last met so they were not a cute couple Couple. I kind of I misspoke there I spoke out of turn a little bit it's uh it's pouring rain right now I don't know why it hasn't started snowing yet there hasn't been like the first snow of the season which I'm kind of sad about I always love the first snow of the season you know in fall and winter because I think it's just like so beautiful and that sort of thing Maximus is being dad of the year right now I don't know how he woke up I'm gonna have him instead go and unclog the toilet um he doesn't have work or anything soon I don't think he works in four hours so I don't know why 
he got up i'm gonna instead have him go back to sleep and then he can go and his wife can make up and take care of ollie ollie's birthday is today i'm not gonna throw him like a party or anything like that because i really just don't care um ollie's not gonna be our heir or anything like that like he is way 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 too young to be our heir obviously if you guys don't know i do 45 episodes of every generation and we are on, i think this is episode 33 or 34 so uh the sim i think the sim would have had to been born by now in order for them to like be our heir for university because obviously university only works with young adults and above so um even kennedy might be a little bit too old but i might age her back down because you know alien alien powers is what i'm gonna say it is that's gonna be like my storyline of why she's younger than the rest of her siblings alien powers i mean not younger than her, her siblings but like you know she was born significantly before them and her being like a kind of a similar age to them is is gonna be kind of strange i don't want her to be super old when she goes to university so that's why i'm doing that um anyway i am going oh she needs to put nico in his crib here and then i'm gonna have her go back to sleep until she has to work she's currently nauseous she's getting her first little nauseous thingy because she currently is pregnant her fucking family oriented self wants to have a million fucking babies you know this is like this is like the double duty here oh she got her bump okay she had like no morning sickness at all that's crazy she had no morning sickness that is so weird it is very rare for ivy's pregnancies that, that she doesn't get morning sickness but this current baby that she's pregnant with right now she got what one thing of morning sickness and it was just this the nauseous one right now so that's actually really interesting i'm, I'm kind of shocked that she got little to no morning sickness very nice all right I, i'm happy with that i'm happy with that so lee also improved his fishing skill right now oh he's at the science facility which is actually really good because i feel like lee i mean he's gonna go to university i think for science i think that's an option right i can send him to university for science um because he's the outdoorsy i feel like he'd be like an environmentalist or kind of have like he'd be like an activist for environmental sort of stuff because you know lee is very outdoorsy loves the outdoors angler loves the heat so he's got he's got a lot of outdoorsy kind of kind of stuff going on for him so i feel like he would be in the science career oh and apparently his grandpa gator is currently the uh the supervisor the chaperone for their for their school trip which is so weird <laughs> why is gator the chaperone maybe he needs to make a little bit of money on the side or something like that so he took up a chaperoning job for the for the high schoolers i was waking up so that she can go and vomit i'm gonna have her go and vomit and then she can go back to bed um max should probably wake up pretty soon max actually wants to have a boy which i think is so cute he wants another little mini mini version of himself of course i'm gonna have him currently listen to a top cast we'll just have him we'll have him listen to cooking because i mean he doesn't need anything oh okay um apparently his his carpool for work is already here i mean that's not a big deal i'm gonna have him put in a quick top cast as he's heading to work just so you know he can get a little bit of cooking skill maybe or something like that and uh he's gonna go hop in his carpool for some reason it didn't give me a notification i think it's because i got so many notifications here i just didn't clear them fast enough lee also improved his gardening skill which is really nice from his little trip to the science facility very good oh kennedy also just made the family 5k simoleons very nice kennedy i also need to have her gain an athletic skill because i think it's i don't remember what this is for what is this for it says the head fitness instructor thinks you can reach the next level of your athletic journey but not without a little effort improve your athletic skill by one level and return it to the stadium for a cash bonus so that's pretty easy i'm gonna have her go and head over to the gym she's kind of across town right now so it's gonna take her a minute this rain man this rain is insane right now this is like a really really heavy rainfall when does ivy have work by the way oh shit i forgot to have her take away maternity leave honestly we probably could have her keep her maternity leave because she's not that poor but i want her to get like advanced in her career and stuff oh meadow mcdermott would like to go over to sean simovich's after school who is sean meadow meadow who is sean let me see who the hell is sean sean simovich i'm gonna have to age him up because he could be a potential love prospect when meadow ages up also i just remembered kennedy has work today so i really should have not have sent her over to the gym um she's definitely gonna go to the gym though after she gets out of work but for now she's she's gotta go in she's gotta go into work i know that she does have an hour for until work so we could have her probably technically work out right now but i'm not feeling it just like go go to work go right to work and we'll have her work hard too so we, maybe she can get a job promotion or something she's really close to getting a job promotion and by the way the part-time careers only go up to level three um so you know she's like halfway there she's currently level two her performance bar is really high up so she's only got a little bit more until you know until she gets a good job i mean she's not gonna be making like an extreme amount of money but what i like about part-time careers is it's only three hours a night and you can make decent money and you get the ranks up pretty quickly because all you need for a part-time career 
career in the sims 3 to get a good job performance is mood your your sims mood has to be up and she's very happy right now because you know she's not tired because she doesn't ever need to sleep she's not hungry she's having a decent amount of fun so it's nice max is currently playing his pre-game warm-up here i'm very nervous i really hope that he wins his game today um all right here we go home is oh my god did i just see home 16 i was gonna say how is it already home 16 like how do they already score 16 points i was gonna be very very shook but anyway meadow's over here at the simovich household now we are going to age up sean here just to see if he could be like a potential love prospect in the future oh my god she got cheated on fatima got cheated on <laughs> i saw the little um knife over her head oh my god that's kind of awkward poor sean is like being brought up in a household where there's a lot of turmoil go get to know him a little bit meadow it is it is time for you to make some friends she has no friends thus far because she just aged up to a child but anyway we're gonna age up sean here and we're gonna see if he is a cutie we're gonna see if he's good looking if he's you know up to par with our lovely little meadow my love a little blonde baby let's age him up oh yeah he's cute he is cute and i know his nose is a little he's got a little bit of a schnauzer but i feel like if i added like a nose mask to him he would have a really pretty nose like i could i could finesse a pretty nose out of out of sean and i know his nose mask is not matched but just pretend it is all right pretend his nose mask is matched and that's what he's gonna age up to look like so i think he's cute um i think i would let meadow date him i'm pretty sure how are these two in here doing oh she just kissed him wait didn't she just get cheated on and she's like ki kissing him now i'm so confused also by the way vadim and adama are betty newbie's parents like betty newbie as in ivy's childhood friend betty newbie that is currently married to bob newbie so betty starts the, in the game as Betty Simovich and these are her parents Fatima and Vadim and then this is her room so this is like the room she grew up in when she was a child um I think you she spawns in the town as a child I'm pretty sure so we had like have her age up and stuff obviously she's a young adult now so it's been a very long time when does Ivy oh I keep thinking that Ivy goes to work and she doesn't I'm gonna have her lock in this have a boy want just because you know maybe she'll have twins or something uh hopefully not hopefully not but you know whatever I don't know if she will Sean is currently over here talking to Meadow a little bit they're just chatting they're having a good time I'm gonna have them play tag or something they're gonna play tag in the rain which is really not that great probably getting very soaked her her boots are probably soaked through at this point her tights and stuff but it's fine as long as they have fun as long as she makes some friends I am okay with it oh no the away is winning the away team is winning oh i don't think maximus is gonna win this game that's so sad i'm sorry max there's three more games in the season so i guess we'll have to see if he can win those other two games i don't know what i should have him do i think preparing or um what is it there's like a little option you get when he goes to work it's like prepare for game or something like that maybe i should have him do that a little bit more often rather than like have him constantly work out oh my god look at that holy shit travis mcdermott who is maximus's younger brother just got a tiberium tiberium is like the most expensive metal in the game i'm pretty sure in sims 3 um so yeah he just made quite a bit of money from that obviously like 12 000 millions i have like a threshold so i think it's if it's over maybe like 5k or something it'll give me a notification otherwise i just don't care like if they tell me i don't care if they're making money but if it's a lot of money like i want to know that's crazy though he got 12k from that that's that's a lot of money i don't know what to have everyone else do i mean ivy's just kind of at home chilling she's got her little pregnancy bump i'm gonna have her come over and eat uh not apple pancakes i do not want to influence the sex of her baby at all though she does want to have both a boy and a girl what if she had twins wouldn't that be crazy in my game there's a 15 percent chance of twins and a five percent chance of triplets so it's there like there's a chance we haven't got it yet i don't think um but you know i'm i'm just saying you know maybe there is a chance lee actually has a lifetime wish here that he can lock in and it is to be a renaissance sim he wants to reach level 10 with three different skills i'm actually gonna lock this in for him i like that idea a lot for lee i don't know where his life path is gonna take him like i don't know what he's gonna want to do in his life or anything like that um but i do like the idea of him being a renaissance sim like i feel like he would be very versed in that sort of thing very cultured so i'm having him come over here just so he can fish a little bit because he is an angler oh who else is here there's some oh oh mary d oh oh my god tamika hi tamika so this is the girl that asked lee to prom in the last episode and actually mary dean and tamika are an item that is so cute i did not 
think that um that Tamika, you know, had a little had a little romantic moment, but apparently Mary Dean is uh is her girlfriend, or at least they're romantically acquainted. So I'm happy for you. Oh, Tamika bought her some flowers. That's so cute. How wholesome that they're here at this beautiful lot. This really is like a I mean it could be more beautiful but you know it's a nice location i think it's a nice location so lee is kind of just over here he's just fishing to his heart's content <laughs> in the last episode one of you made a really funny comment i'll put it on screen right now but you said i would love to see you do the whole thing of girls fawning over lee but i would love if he's like absolutely clueless about it or doesn't care because he's in love with sunshine i really liked her and i liked her too i'm definitely gonna remake her don't you worry guys just because you know she was our paper girl and she magically disappeared appeared in my town i will remake her maybe i could have her be like the adopted kid of their family or something like that if i can't find one uh, family in town that i want to give her to but don't worry guys i'm going to remake sunshine she will be in our game and i'm gonna have to cheat the relationship back up to what it was before um but i think that that is such a cute storyline so i definitely want to do that um but anyways guys i'm gonna end this episode right here i'm gonna end it on my favorite sim thus far lee i love you're so cute i don't know what it is about lee i just adore him so much i think it's because he's a lot like his dad and he's also like a really sweet person in general and he's outdoorsy i don't know he just seems really ideal to me he just seems really ideal i don't know um anyways guys i'm gonna catch you all in the next one and peace out